Hey everybody, it's Nick uh, for today's tutorial. We're going to talk about how to add human occlusion to your Unity uh, augmented reality apps. And uh, again, this is not my work, but I'm trying to simplify this process for people just to make a shorter video that kind of gets to the point. Um, so uh, just to have just to show you an example of this, um, this is what it would look like. You have like a hand that's in front of, of an object that's virtual. You can kind of see the edges, you know, of the of the hand are kind of like stenciled out, and that's how the effect works. But it makes things much more realistic in that you it looks like you're able to interact with the object uh, when you when you when you place your hand in front of it. And depending upon how you use it, it'll also detect bodies in the scene, uh, and it would place the object in front of those objects depending upon the perspective. And so that's that's a really nice effect to make your things uh, a lot more realistic. And um. You know, again, that's that's not my video. It's just a, just an example I'm showing. The key thing to, to remember or to know about this is that it only currently works for Apple A12 processors, which are the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, and the 2019 uh, iPad Air and iPad Mini. That's not the 2019 iPad, and it's not any any of the any phone that's older than a 2019 phone is not going to work. It also works with the newer A13 models uh, processor, which is the iPhone 11, 11 Pro Pro Max, and the new iPhone SE, which uh, just came out as of a couple days ago. Um, so, so if you don't have an iPhone and you don't have a, the, one of the latest models, this isn't going to help you. But you can put it in your apps, and if the capability is there, then it's going to then it's going to work. And it's actually pretty simple to add. Um, you know, again, uh, this is listed under like the uh, under you know like AR Foundation and and uh, you know AR Kit, which are which are Apple, and they come in the 3.1.0 uh, preview, um, and so that's not something that's going to be installed by default when you're working with your with your apps in Unity, and so uh, just something to watch out for. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fire up Unity, and I'm going to show you how to get that into your project. Uh, hang on for one second. All right, so we're in Unity, and I've got pretty much like the default uh, 3D project. I don't have anything uh, in this right now. So just real quick, first thing I'm going to do is just create just a simple cube just to have something. And I'm going to get rid of the camera because we're talking about um, uh, actually like an augmented reality uh, app. So I'm going to get rid of that. And then um, we need to uh, go ahead and go to Package Manager and install the uh, augmented reality uh, packages. If you've already got an AR setup, that's fine, but where you're going to run into problems is when you're looking at AR Foundation, the latest version that's stable and that's out is 3.0.1, but we need 3.1 point something. So you click on see all versions. Um, and uh, let's see here. Um, and then you go to advanced and you say show preview packages. And yeah, you're okay with that. Um, and give it a second to kind of load up um, AR Foundation. Yeah, so now I have, I have access to Preview 0.8, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to install Preview 0.8. Hopefully this doesn't take too long to make you guys bored. But um, go ahead and start with Foundation. And it's important that all the versions of your uh, AR kit, AR subsystems, all that will be of the 3.1 flavor, or it's not going to be very happy with you. So go, go ahead and make sure that all that stuff um, imports correctly. Okay. Um, again, you won't see these unless you turn on advanced settings. Okay. So we've got it's still loading here. All right. Okay. AR Foundation. We're going to go ahead, and I think it actually may have already loaded AR subsystems. So that's that's kind of nice. And then the next one we want to get is uh is the uh is gonna be AR AR hang on one minute there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get the uh AR AR kit uh, XR. Go ahead and do the preview and install that. We don't need the face tracking, I'm not worried about that right now. Let's get this in there. And I'm pretty sure we don't need anything else. I think just those three uh, packages are going to be sufficient to give us human occlusion. Let's just double check once we get through this here. So this has got Apple AR kit integration. Okay. Keep going here. It's going to load up. Not much feedback from the system as these things are installing. Just there we go. Okay. Uh, let's just make sure that I'm not missing anything there. Yeah, let's get an AR Core XR in here too. 
just to be on the safe side. Go ahead and hit that. It's still working here. Again, if you've got a basic setup, you, you can go ahead and just save your file once you get these things all installed, and you can use that as a basis for other apps. Like you don't have to go through this whole process every single time, but this is good just to get uh, what the basic uh, augmented reality system looks like. And it's still loading here. Alrighty, so I think I got I got all those installed. And go ahead and close that out. Once you have that, then you can go into your scene and you can get an XR here. And then we're going to go ahead and, and do like the, the default. So we're going to do an AR session origin. And that will deliver us the AR, the AR camera. Which right now isn't, doesn't really look like a whole lot. Uh, and in fact, I probably want to go ahead and move my cube around a little bit. Not sure where my, oh, my camera is not even looking at it. All right. Let me go ahead and move my cube into position there, or into some. There we go. So there's there's a cube there. That's fine. Just want to put something in so that when you test it, you can check to see whether your hand is in front of it or not. Okay, that's that's all that that is basically. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the inspector back here. I don't need animation anymore. If you're missing a tab, you just go ahead and right click. And you just say add tab and we're looking at the inspector. That'll tell us where the cube is in space. Okay. And uh, that's fine for now. All right. So we got that. We got AR session origin, AR camera looking good there. And then we go ahead and go back to XR and then we go ahead and add an AR session. Okay. And uh, this is just going to give us all the, uh, the different kind of inputs that we need. Okay, and then at this point, it's pretty simple to get AR occlusion set up. Just go ahead and go to the camera. You're going to go down here and make sure that you have an AR pose driver uh, installed. That should come in automatically. But if not, you can go ahead and just say, um, hang on a minute here. You can say AR pose driver, and that'll put it in there. The last thing you need is just AR occlusion manager. And then you've got you've got your two uh, modes here for for the for the for the stencil test and the and the uh, like depth test. And what those basically mean is this is like if you don't have anything uh, running, that's what you're going to see. Uh, fastest will, will will give you good feedback, but of course it's not going to completely separate the the hand from the frame. Medium is somewhere between. Best is going to give you a cleaner uh, cutout, but it's also going to make things slower, or it could make things slower if you have an older uh, processor. Um, but that's, but that's basically it. Um, you look at the, if you go to the forum, if you go to the unity post about this, which I'll, I'll post a link to, you can learn more about what the settings are. Um, but basically it just kind of tells you like what the parameters are. If either of these is disabled, the uh, stencil or the depth mode, it is going to uh, not work. Um, but that's basically like all you need. At this point, you can you can uh, go ahead and do a build to your device and try it out. You should look at the, the, the box that you made and you should be able to put your hand in front of it. If you have a person, you can have them stand behind it and uh, see it render in front of them. Uh, and that should, that should give you the basic uh, kind of setup for that. Um, I'm sorry, I can't test it myself. I don't have a very good phone right now. Um, Maybe in a future uh, video, I'll kind of I'll kind of add something to that. But that's it. Basically, build your AR session. Make sure you've got the latest uh, packages for Foundation uh, and its related plugins, and then go ahead and make sure that you've got Pose Driver and Occlusion Manager. And that's actually all that it takes. Um, all right. Good luck. Talk to you later.